Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a wonderful week. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, use the data table so that it has reactive cells. So the cells or your mouse is going to be like a button. So every time you click on a cell, it will change the graph here on the right. So as you can see, it will always have the X axis will always be year the title will be according to the country chosen on that same row and then the y-axis will either be life expectancy or population or gdp per capita so let's see how we build this this is very very important because this gives you a lot of flexibility um, over your data table and it could allow you to create very beautiful graphs we do all this with the dash data table um, active cell property. So we're going to go deeper into the active cell property and the different keys that the active cell has. Um, to get started or to follow along, I would recommend going into my GitHub and downloading this, this select, selecting.py um, uh, uh, code or Python file, or just, or just copy paste all the code into your own Python file. And we're going to focus on this one. We're focusing on this chapter, sorting, filtering, selecting, and paging uh, natively in the dash data table component. Uh, I have on the playlist, if you want to click above, I focus on many different chapters. In this case, I'm going to focus on the selecting part of this chapter right here. All right, so let's get started. How do we build this graph? Go, let's load the, um, load the selecting.py code. This code was actually written by Anne Marie, my friend, and she's a Plotly form moderator. She's a leader and she, she's a Dash expert. So definitely ask her questions if you have any. Um, this will require Dash 2.0 or higher. And with Dash 2.0, you can, you can actually download or import everything on one, one line. And then we're importing Plotly Express. We're gonna um, use a CSS uh, sheet written by um, uh, Plotly right here and this will allow us to create some layout you see how I have here the data table on the left and the graph on the right it's because I'm using this external sheets with this I can use class names like right here all this div is going to be one row and inside this one row div we're going to have two divs one is going to have five columns on the left and two that's going to be six columns on the right all right so let's see um, we're going to use a, the built-in uh, data set, Gapminder. This is a, a, a data set that's built into Plotly Express. They have several different data sets. I think if you click on this, uh, you can see here all the data sets. What I did, I did sh um, control uh, left click, and I see all the different data sets that um, Plotly Express has. We're using this data set. Um, and then we'll, we'll show you, we'll go over this in, in a few minutes. Okay, so first the layout. Simply, let's go over the layout for one minute. If you're not interested in the layout, you want to jump straight into the callback, then just jump into the callback using the, the video layout under the video. Okay, so in the layout, we have uh, one row. It's only everything is in one row. And in the first five columns to the left, we have the title, and then we have the dash uh, data table. And this date, and first of all, this is the title. 2007 Gapminder, and then this is a data table. The ID is table. It's going to have columns. We're going to say for C in columns, and the columns comes from here. All these columns that exist inside the uh, Gapminder. So for C in columns, we're going to give it. We're, it's going to be the name is going to be the same as the ID C and C, and then all the data. This is always you're going to always repeat this. And the data, the data frame is just going to be the, the DFF. DFF is this right here. Um, Anne Marie just um, filtered it. So we only have one year, 2007. That way we only have um, one country instead of um, one country per row. So it doesn't, it doesn't um, duplicate itself because you only need this for 2007 for now. And then the page will only have 10 per 10 rows per page and you can see here there's 10 rows per page there's only one country per row because it's, everything here is from 2007 right and the active cell the active cell is this 
with this object, which is this dictionary right here. And this has um, four different keys, row, column, column ID. As you can see here in the references, the reference section, column active cell is a dictionary with um, four different keys. You can see here, and these are the optional values that can go inside those keys. So at the very beginning when the app loads, the first the, the active cell is going to be row zero and the column ID is going to be country. So that's why the first time the app loads, the active the row is going to be zero here and the column is going to be um, country. So that's why this is the active cell and not this or not this, but this one whenever we whenever we uh, load the app from the very beginning right here. Okay, so this is the active cell and then to the to the right of the five columns is going to be six columns. Right now we don't have anything in this div. The children is empty, but we're going to put inside of here we're going to put a graph. We're going to put this graph inside the children of this ID. So if you actually if you hashtag this out like this, you'll see that there will be no 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 graph is going to be empty it's going to just be an empty empty div right here all right so let's just put this back like this all right now let's let's build a graph and let's go into the callback so to better understand the callback we just have one input and one output the input is the active cell prop of the table and the table id belongs to the dash data table and the active cell prop is this right here so this is the active cell which is going to be the argument of our uh, callback function so this is just for the beginning this is just the same thing as all this right we took it from here remember this is the initial active cell row id zero and column id country so this is an initial active cell we're taking this we're filtering all the data with with rows and columns and then we're building our graph and after we build a graph we return our graph inside a dash core component uh, we return our figure inside our dash core component graph because all figures need to go inside a, a, a graph component and this goes inside the children of the output graph right the return object always goes inside the um, property of the output right so the property of the output is right here this is the output graph and it goes like this. it's as if you're doing this children dcc graph blah 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 right that's exactly the same thing okay so let's see this now um, let's explain the callback function the callback function is building I'm going to explain it from from the bottom up it's going to be easier I'm going to explain we're going to explain it through the building of the graph so I'm going to build a plotly express line line graph and inside the line graph I have to first I have to define the data frame so my data frame is going to be the data frame that is filtered where the country column equals country right so I'm going to have only one data frame inside this graph and the data frame is not going to be all the countries it's only going to be rows where the um, a country column equals country but what is this this country object is this right here all right so to understand this we have to understand row okay because this will, will will give us the country so first row the row is the active cell dictionary which at the beginning is this where the where the key row id is right here the key value so this is going to be equal to the key value zero right this is as if this is uh, zero the very first time but if i change this and i click on a different id let's see here i'm printing this out right so if i'm going to put right now it's zero but if i click on a different id let's go click on this one right here this row is not number four it's number 47 right 
nowhere, no matter where I click, I can click here, I can click here, it's always going to be row 47, 47, 47, 47. If I click on this one, it's 12 rows back right here. So this should be 35, I think, right? 35. And again, no matter if I click clear or here, it's always going to be row 35. Okay, so this is the row ID. The, the row ID is 35 right now. And then I'm saying, give me the cell value, only one value in the, in the original data frame where the row equals 35. And, the, uh, and then the cell value from that country column. So if row is 35, it's all of this row. And the country column in this row is Algeria. All right, so you see here, Algeria. And even if I click on this one right here, although I'm not clicking on the country, I'm looking for um, this is going to be row 59. And from row 59 in the original data frame, the country in the country column is Argentina. So that's why you'll see Argentina. All right. So this equals, in this case, this equals Argentina. When the app first loads, this row, remember, is zero. So this is going to be zero. This is going to be zero. And the country uh, value in the country column is actually Afghanistan. So if we refresh this, you'll see that this equals Afghanistan. Print country, Afghanistan. All right. So if this equals Afghanistan, now we know that the data frame is a filter data frame where all the rows equals Afghanistan. Because Afghanistan has 12 different rows in the original data frame from all the way from 2000, from 1952 all the way, it jumps in 5, 57, 62, 60, up until 2007. So there's 12 rows for Afghanistan. So this is... Um, uh, a smaller data frame. Within data frame, this data frame, we're going to the X um, axis is always, always going to be the year column. So this is why the X is always the year. No matter where you click, the X is always going to be the year. And then the Y column, the Y axis is going to be Y. Y is an object that we created here. And it says if column. So we have to understand what column means. This column comes from here. So this column is, again, the active cell dictionary, where the column ID, this is the, the, the key, column ID. At the beginning, is going to be country. When we first load the app, it's going to be equal to country. The column ID equals country, right? It's right here. You see? Column ID equals country. But if I, uh, so this is going to be equal to country, the string country. But if I change this to pop, like this, or here, or here, the column ID will be pop. You see? Pop, pop, and pop. So this is the column ID. In this case, it's uh, pop right now, because we are, we are here in this column. And if this is pop, then we're going to say here, if pop is in this list of pop or GDP per cap, then pop then just this equals pop which means assign pop to y which means y equals pop which means the y axis is going to be the pop column the population column which is right here right if we choose the column is going to be equal to let's say gdp per capita because we're going to choose gdp per capita this one or this one then then GDP per capita is going to be here, which is going to be here, which is going to be here. GDP capita, which is the y-axis of the, of the graph. But if it's not GDP per capita or it's not pop, meaning if it's life expectancy or con continent or country column, then the string is going to be um, uh, life ex exp expectancy, which is life expectancy, which is the life expectancy column. So you see life expectancy is going to be always the y-axis in these th first three columns. All right? But if we click on this one or this one, then it changes. And then we just have the title. We're going to join the country and the y-axis. Remember, so the country here is Australia and the y-axis is GDP per capita. So Australia, GDP per capita. Australia, population, or and so on and so on. All right, so this is how we built our um, Plotly figure. And um, here we're just um, updating the layout and the traces, so it looks a little bit nicer. She, Anna's using here a different color right here from this one. 
and that is really it right i hope you enjoyed i hope this was very helpful again uh join me um, um, um how do you call that in youtube subscribe to my channel and you'll get uh turn on your notifications so every week you'll get a notification of a new um a video that i do uh, i do a lot of videos about all the different components here and all different chapters um so it's a great tool to learn uh, plotly dash if you'd like to contribute to to uh my youtube channel and myself as a content uh, creator i will be very grateful to you it would mean a lot to me just click on the uh, link above the patreon link above and i hope to see you i hope to see you soon have a good day i uh, have a good week and always remember we're better together so help each other out bye, -bye.